Guys, we are back by popular demand, and I have so much I want to talk about this week. So we are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. And the first thing that comes to question, comes to mind, comes to the forefront is, guys, we've revamped the website. It's insane now. Uh, it's so much more polished. It's so much more everything you can imagine. Meet the mentors. Meet the members. Meet the team. Uh, broker statements by Alex. You can see how he's made well over $7 million in the last three years, guys. Check out the broker statements. Any questions? Questions that you may have, verify them right here. Um, see what our mission is. See what see what the members do, and see what we offer. And I just wanted to plug that real quick because we're so proud of this website, and it's doing really well. And uh, you guys are able to navigate better. But this is definitely the highlight reel. So guys, let's dive right in because I like to keep these short and sweet. So Monday, here is the watch list. Alex traded, and I'm going to make these. Uh, I'm going to make them bigger right now. He made 1500 on two trades. So let's actually go over these. We're going to go to Neuro. We're going to go to the 20 day chart so I can look up one in um, specifically. So, guys, the dates are right here. Obviously, it was October 10th, which is Monday right here. Uh, so, yeah, so Neuro run ran. It ran the day before. So, coming into the open, Alex was doing exactly what he wanted. He wanted right here into the pop. It was exactly what the plan was. Looking broken to me. It's far from highs. Would love a bounce to 350, 360, 370 scale in with a 390 stop. So, guys, really quick, just drawing the lines. Um, I won't draw every single one for the sake of time, but 350 upwards of 370 using these resistance points you guys can see the tops that correlate right there with with a stop at 390 if it did go above these highs which you always have to cut pre-market highs or the day before like these are very you know previous high day these are very key levels so alex started in actually a little bit early he saw these pushes again if the plan is 350 to 370 these are ideal sometimes you know you can feel it out right like this is as much art as it is feel um it's much science as it is feel which is basically art so it's just it's all kind of homogenized in together and sometimes you need to feel it so if you want to start in a little bit early this is what you get so alex you know did really well on that and then the other trade that he did was we're going to go to uh imux on the 10th which is right hold on one sec let me make this bigger for you guys so that's right here obviously you guys can see that right here so we're on imax on monday and alex actually stopped out of this believe it or not so this is actually a losing trade but here's what i love about what alex is so good at guys when he's wrong he's gonna cut it immediately as you can see there right in the morning you know this wanted to keep going it didn't break down it didn't do what we wanted especially after this stuff move which got alex like interested to add which got him to you know wanting to hit this but you know it just didn't do what he does he cuts around right here and you know off to the races and the thing that's so beautiful about that is keeping losses small so for the day you know i'll read it out for the pnl slow start to the week but happy that I stayed safe. Had a solid win on Neuro, which we, I just showed you short into VWAP this morning, and gave back some of those profits on IMUX being choppy price action. Did well avoiding the hot stocks of the day, so chalking this up to a solid stress-free day. And guys, 1500 bucks, nail and bails Neuro, stops out immediately when wrong on IMUX. I mean, the story writes itself is as clean and as clear as that, and that's MIC process. If we look over some members, Gil absolutely crushed it right here on SCPH short. You know, waiting for that tank, hitting the pop. I love it. MIC process. Neuro following the watch list, baby. I love it. Um, Pierre, I, these are a little hard to see, guys, but Pierre did a really good job in here. Um, and, uh, and just phenomenal work. Just phenomenal work. I, I, I could blow those up, but when you guys post multiples, it's a little bit hard as you guys see one verse two. Um, so, you know, I opened these up. They looked really good. There's scale in shorts but uh sometimes it's a little hard to see when you post numerous hooper x is the king these days of outer lines with the volume profile i'm absolutely in love with his entries these days he's a sniper po again multiple charts but just crushed it as you guys can see here gives the full description of what he was thinking outer lines in the vwap um outer levels near pre-market highs this is where the, these are where those resistance points are phenomenal job po wolf what a monster stocks broken down on neuro follows the plan exactly makes some cheese 
uh fabian doing exactly what the channel allowed making that money on imux great job um instead of going for like a really nice you know kind of short like alex stopped out on you know he paid himself he paid himself he paid himself he paid himself hit the lines hit the outer lines that's also another way to go about it um aaron coming in with almost uh what is that probably 700 dollars after all fees and stuff that's phenomenal what a great day travers is the scoop master scooping in here cutting when wrong but always paying himself along the way re-attacking late in the day as you can see here on this reclaim it totally reclaims he adds and uh and just pays himself on the way up i love it soy sauce you consistent bastard you making a <laughs> this guy's making like a thousand two thousand a day so tough day apdn got me but thankful for stocks it stops thanks mic still made eleven hundred dollars i love that um pal crushing the stock market <laughs> qqq see ya um rockmon awesome job on outer lines right there so guys monday was very clean little bit of opportunity everybody took advantage um but this is kind of a peanuts week i'll just kind of do this real quick Alex made 1500 on Monday, lost 300 on Tuesday, made 700 on Wednesday, made 3000 on Thursday. And these are rough numbers, you know, give or take, you know, $10, $50 and lost 500 on Friday. So guys, this is actually like a super, super peanut kind of week, but it is what it is. You know, you push when it's really good, not when it's kind of choppy market. So, um, you know, here was the watch list today or on Tuesday and on the 11th. And Alex puts negative 338 slow day as I size down. Although I lost today, I'm happy with my losses as I stopped out very well on IMUX. So let's actually take a look. Uh, so we're going to go back. So we're on IM IMUX right now. Let's go to the 20 day. Actually, we're on that. So let's scroll out one sec. Let me change this guy. Sometimes TOS freezes, so you got to redo it. All right, so we are actually going to the 11th. So the, the next day, remember, stopped out on day one. This thing had continuation up the wazoo. So what Alex wanted was only trade I would take on this would be the short side, would be if it tanks at the open and fails to bounce. Other than that, we'll ignore. So Alex took a stab at this, as you guys can see, red to green line. This thing decided, you know what, I'm just going to keep going. Alex cut it immediately and look at, are you kidding me right now? Stops are your friend. Alex posts this. This is his trade. This is what stubbornness gets you if you hold on to a poor, losing, failed trade and you're just as stubborn as a donkey. So this was just a perfect example, guys, of on Tuesday. Stops are your friends. We cannot make it any more clear than that. And if you're not applying risk management and stops to your trading, you're doing yourself a very, very dangerous disservice. This is what we teach at MIC. So, um, you know, trend supporter coming in, outer lines. I absolutely love it on IMUX. Nail and bail. Irvin, you know, hitting those lines and stopping out. This is actually a loss. And I love showcasing some losses every now and then. Why? Because this is how important it is, guys. So this is how you stay in the game. This is how you trade forevermore. This is how you last decades to come. What needs to be said? Hooper X is a monster, you know, hitting these outer lines, covering the dips. I absolutely love it. Let's go right here. Joby. So Ryan Conley hitting on Joby. Again, guys, another loss. Tried to scoop it, didn't work out, cut it immediately, didn't look back. I love it. Pure process when you're wrong. Then Ryan comes back on Peggy and uh, scoops, makes a, makes a nice, you know, scalp out of that. Great freaking job. He's really good at switching sides, you know, anywhere from short and long, but he loves those longs and he knows when to cut. That's the key. Welcome back to MIC. Chris Fox, awesome, coming in with a 412 day fantastic scalps great job rockmon balanced off with a perfect 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 entry very patient um and actually patient on the exits which is phenomenal as well coming into travers right here he's the king of scooping as you guys can see right here paying himself all the way up sometimes you don't even get a chance to add because you're just unloading the shares that you bought and uh and i love this he's he's just this kid's growing so fast so quickly um, V1 spicy sauce, fantastic job on the outer lines. Pay yourself, hit again at resistance. So guys, outer lines, pay yourself right there. Now, where's the resistance level? Right there to hit again, and what do you do next? You pay yourself. This is MIC process. You are not greedy, and you will not only make money, stay safe in the process, be able to do this for decades to come. So just phenomenal, phenomenal trading right there. Wolf. What needs to be said? Our lines on lace or lacy, lassy, whatever you want to call it. He goes, I think I lucked out on this one. I was like, no, dude, you did perfect MIC process and it paid 
fat dividends. Soy sauce, you consistent mofo coming in with another thousand dollar day. I love it. And every now and then, guys, I just kind of want to showcase one of these. This is what one of our members puts together on commentary of Alex mixed in with his chart, the full chart for comparison and review of you going back and back testing and seeing what the most important matters were or are. And I think that that's very important. So we're coming in Wednesday, which is the 12th. Alex trades ADTX, one small scalp, makes $700. Let's kind of pull all these up, see where his head was at, what the watch list said, and what he was kind of going into the day thinking, right? So ADTX, look, let's pull this up for you. ADTX, I don't know why that feels like a tongue twister to me. Uh, okay, so we're right here. And Alex says, looking broken, so we'll look for a bounce towards 350, 360, 370 with a 390 stop. So kind of like, you know, dude, guys, like the, the, it's right there in the plan. So, you know, this is super broken. It's far from highs. Alex wants 350, just like on Monday on what, what was it? Neuro, I think it was, um, you know, he's again, again, it didn't hit 350, but he's still getting starters in. And that's what you could see here under view op. So Alex, you know, gets these starters covers immediately come to open, you know, into the these washes and uh, what near 321 ish. So, you know, down here again, guys, you can nail and bail within the first hour. All you need technically is to plan a little bit in the morning, obviously an hour, two hours, as much time as you can, but for executing, you only need that first hour specifically for short selling in small caps. And that's, what's so key. You can create a whole career. Alex is making millions of dollars a year trading one hour a day, one hour a day guys. And this is peanuts week and he still made around what four grand if i do all the substitution from the you know the gains 718 dollars made back yesterday's loss and a bit more did very well today sticking to the watchlist pan on imux key here was to scalp it because it was easy to borrow and ssr uh also did well shorting the bounce on adtx uh in the vwap hpco ended up a break-even trade but all good stayed safe today was the key keeping size small while the market remains choppy guys we have a choppy week it's as simple as that so you know what we do you play safe you stay small you only push when the iron's hot think about this alex just uploaded one of a new feature which i'll talk about at the end guys a hundred and forty five thousand dollar trade that he took in the past and he took a loss day of, or on Tuesday of $300. So Alex is so good at risk management and knowing when to push and when to like stay off the gas pedal when the market's choppy. And this is the stuff that if you haven't learned, you need to learn that we teach at MIC, but the members know how to do this stuff. So Ryan Conley, awesome scoops, but here's what it is. Pike City, totally, buddy. Happens to all of us. I just wanted to kind of showcase that because while stopping out is good, guys, sometimes you didn't even stop out. You had a winning trade to be like, damn, I left a lot on the table, right? It happens. Welcome to trading. Brian G., Big shout out, win, 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 uh, maybe a loss or two, absolutely getting consistent in the disciplinary workshop. I absolutely love that. Uh, Gil, ADTX, great job, pre-market trade, fantastic. Uh, F Toast, I love this, scale and outer lines on IMUX as per plan, as per watch list, guys. Micro hitting a perfect bounce, paying himself, he's in and out, he's gone, I love it. Uh, Pierre Luke, Pierre Luke, Pierre Laura Luke, <laughs> that's kind of a tongue twister. Messed up this by starting in a little early. Oh, well, got to walk the dog. Here's the thing. This looks pretty sexy as a scale, but you know what? Even if this is a loss trade because you did start in early, these are the lessons, guys. These are the lessons why outer lines are so key and always being that little bit of a contrarian in the macro, right? Like if the stock is broken, you still need to wait for those pops, guys. You still need to wait for those key areas. But I just wanted to showcase this as a still good, good job, awesome job on the scales. But remember, starting in at the outer lines. Wolf absolutely crushing outer lines on Peggy, paying himself, paying himself, reshorting, paying himself. Uh, never perfect, as he always says. I think this guy's way too hard on himself, but he's doing great. Hooper X, absolutely as sexy as I could ever see a chart outer lines. Hats off, my friend. Hats off. Diego, IMUX, great job. Outer lines. Diego, outer lines on Peggy. Diego, outer lines on FOXO. Our members are becoming machines, dude. I swear to God. Like, this is... These guys, these guys are absolutely freaking machines. Are you kidding me? So we're coming into Thursday, guys, and uh, let's see what Alex did. And uh, let me get the charts for you one sec. Two charts I want to look at. Uh, the first one was this. This is the 13th. So we're going to go to, first one we'll go is Peggy. 
uh, let's see, 12, 13, that's right here. So it's gonna be this day right here, guys. And uh, Alex did, let's see what the watch list actually. Uh, Peggy, 603 is when SSR turns on. I feel like this will trigger SSR bounce, then look in a short after it fails. If it bounces in the open, I will look too short, 6627. Guys, where are you hit? 660 exactly, upwards of six, Like, the proof is in the watch list, guys. The proof is in the watch list. Are you kidding me right now? And then the second trade was IMUX, and that's about as clear as you can get. IMUX was in play all single week, but we are going right here. And uh, Alex did exactly what plan entails, guys. The stock is broken. The stock, the macro is bro broken. You're going, you're coming in the open. This thing is far from highs. It's under view up all morning. Alex get this beautiful push. And I know, you know, mixed with the red to green line, but I know what this is. He gets in and he has also a fantasy order. You could be taking a crap and it fills and just phenomenal job. So, you know, this is on the watch list as well. I'm not in love with this stock. I feel like the t it's the type to keep trapping. Ideally, I want to see the stock break and go red, obviously, which it did, and short that break of red for a nail and bail scalp if it stays weak. Heavy, then we'll look to reshort on bounces. Alex does exactly what he says he's going to do. He's a he's a he's a man of few words, but when he speaks, he does what he he does what he does and he says what he says and he does what he says. <laughs> uh almost a 3k day, guys. Solid day. Uh today with some stress-free trades. It looked like backside was in on Peggy and IMUX, but the key was not to chase weakness. Never do that to the downside. Best to wait for the bounce to short. Also did a good job avoiding the hot stock of the day lace. Uh, walking away at zombie time is the MIC process, and this is why Alex is so good, making so much money every single year at what he does, guys. You gotta know what you're good at, and then walk away when you're either done or it's not presented anymore. That's the key. Um, lace long, so so check this out, guys. So while Alex, you know, was shorting and staying away from lace, lace long, like this is our members crushing it on the opposing side. So good job, E. Christian hitting those outer lines on Peggy. I love it. David with the outer smoke show on APDN waiting for those outer lines. I love it. Uh, switch hitter right here. You know, trader that goes long and short weekly and daily. Uh, Hooper X, what needs to be said? Master of outer lines waiting for the perfect entries. Travers. Little bit of a red trade right here, but this goes to show I, it looks like a red trade. I mean, I'm 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 see an entry, I see an entry, I see an entry, I see a cut. Um, great job on cutting, brother. Not every trade is gonna be a win, and you're really good at cutting, and you're really good at riding trend when you're right. So again, Travers pat on the back, buddy, doing a great job. Soy sauce losing super small. Um, you know, what does this guy make? Thousand dollars, two thousand dollars a day, cuts four hundred and twenty dollars. He has mastered risk management like Alex guys you need to pay attention to that Chris Fox coming in another 300 I love it great job buddy fantastic definitely made the highlight reel um let's see so let's let we're coming into today guys I'm filming this on Friday obviously and uh again again it's just kind of a choppy market you know the same stocks are in play Peggy IMUX again let's take a look uh today's the 14th one sec let me kind of pull all this up for you Actually, since we're on IMUX, let's just let's just start with IMUX. So we're coming in today. Let me scroll to today. Da, da, da. Yep. Alex Shorts, you know, wants to kind of, you know, I, th I would say Alex would probably argue that he chased a little bit on this. Uh, I would definitely think that he would say that. But um, here's the thing, you know, stop out and stop out again. You know, the, the, what what can be said, guys? The stock didn't do exactly what he said. Maybe he chased a little bit. Um, and the plan was 1070 to 11 to 1120 lines to scale in short with a plan to stop out at 1150. If it just tanks under 10 and bounces, we can look for a bounce to short. I want to see what Alex said about this choppy day to end the week. I got out of IMUX right at the top before it pulled back. Just one of these, just one of those days. Peggy was perfect from the watches. Wish I used more size. So I just know that Alex was probably a little over eager guys. You have to understand at Alex's, at Bows, at my, at any of the moderators, at any of these levels, we still get FOMO. So if you ever see Alex do even even somewhat of a chase, like you just know that like we're not impervious to human emotion as well, and we're going to get FOMO. Like especially like especially Alex, like everybody gets FOMO. It's just controlling it, and you don't control it every single trade, every single day. But the majority standpoint keeps you in the game for the long haul. Um, not much needs to be said about Peggy other than looking for a morning bounce of 670. Freaking 
awesome, awesome, awesome picture perfect trade off the watch list as usual. Um, Nail and Bale, Alex did a great job of that, paying himself, shorting again, paying himself. Um, that's what happens, guys. You pay yourself, you get that scalp in, you cushion the day. Um, but unfortunately, the IMAX loss did make it a red day at only negative 500 bucks. So, guys, super controlled, super easy to follow, really clear cut. And then the members, let's take a look. Let's take a quick look. Uh, let me make this as big as I can. David, awesome job. Outer lines on Peggy. I love it. Pierre Luck, just crushing. Absolutely patient for those entries. Crushing. Real Professor X, great job. I think that that was, what, $100, $100 a day? Guys, $100 days are the blueprints for 1,000. Thousands are the blueprints for two, two for five, five to 10, and so on and so forth. So whatever you make, as long as you follow your plan, as long as you follow process, you're an absolute winner in my book. And I don't care if it's $100 or $100 million, it doesn't matter. You need to be the best version of the trader that you're trying to be. It's not how much money you can make. It's am I good at my passion? Am I following process? Am I getting better daily? Am I sharpening these tools? So, oh my God, I'm going to beat myself up because I only made a hundred dollars. No, dude, that's a win. If you follow process and you did exactly what you plan to do, everybody's on a different size schedule, right? Hooper X, fantastic job. Nice follow through David, Peggy, fantastic. Uh, let's see Hooper X again. <laughs> Hooper, 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 Hooper at those outer lines, man. You're freaking killing it, brother. Um, Aaron, awesome job. What is that? You know, four out of six hundred seven. It's like a seven hundred fifty dollar day right there. Fantastic. Um, Weaver, great job. I think he said he fat fingered a little bit on this one. I saw that. I was kind of laughing because welcome to trading, bro. Welcome to trading, but still a great trade. Um, so that's the week, guys. Members absolutely crushed it. Did a great job. Um, I just want you guys to know that we're so proud of you every single week. And um, if this is something, if this is a community that you guys want to join, uh, let me show you a couple things. So. On the website, if you scroll to the top, guys, the two things you need to pay attention to right here are you can text my business line at 213-458-5997, and you can book a call. So if you click this link right here, guys, any question that you have, I don't want you to not be confident coming in at MIC. I want you with full confidence. So give us some of your information. We're going to book a Google Calendar. I'm going to get on the phone with you, and we're going to figure out if MIC is the home for you, as we think it would be a great resource for you. Um, let's see, let's go in the, let's go into the chat room real quick, guys. Just a really quick look. This is exactly our Slack chat room right here. This is the watch list, you know, subsequent channel. We've got webinars, we've got swing trading, we've got large cap and options room. We've got, you know, the main trading chat where all the live commentary happens. You know, we take whatever we learned in the watch list and then we take it in here and we show, you know, uh, all the people who are active, you know, showing fills, showing charts, posting warnings, posting age, talking about it. Why are we looking at this stock? Why are we stopping out? Why are we winning? Why are we posting some memes every now and then to keep it fun? Um, whatever it is, guys, it's such a fun community. And then the most fun, which I was talking about right now, is the finale of the Lord of the Rings tonight, which I saw. And uh, again, like we're just having a, we're just, it's always a good time and it's fun. It's funny. It's inclusive. Um, and it's exclusive to the MIC members, obviously. Last thing I got to plug, guys, two things, last two things. In fact, I'll do this one at the end. Let's go as tradition. You know what we do every single week. Let's pull up the calculator and let's at least just ballpark this. So, uh, all right, let's do $1,500 uh, uh, plus, let's do all the wins for $700 plus, what, $3,000. All right, so Alex made 5,200 and then he lost around $800. So guys, are you kidding me? That's a bad week for Alex. Who wouldn't want to make an extra 4K a week? And this is a terrible week for Alex. I mean, this is a terrible week. But dude, $4,400 absolutely fantastic it's a total win and the way he kept his risk management in check are you kidding me it's such a freaking win it's crazy even though it's a terrible week for his skill set guys last plug this is huge this is the missing link this is the secret sauce this is the special recipe that coca-cola keeps in a vault somewhere away from pepsi so nobody can figure out what the hell they're doing this is it Everything that we do at MIC, down from mentorships, one-on-ones, um, live commentary, watch list daily, MIC is a scanner in itself, um, moderator calls, DM access, video library, one-on-one -on -one help in any form, uh, resources beyond the imagination. This is the last thing we knew you guys needed, and we're doing it. 
we are doing live trading examples. Alex is now recording a lot of his trades. He comments them afterwards. And the first one we released this week on Friday at close is his BBBY trade of $140,000. If you have not gone and see this, you need to go to our YouTube channel immediately and watch this. It's around, I think, like 35 minutes long. He commentates it. It's set to music. It's a freaking trader vibe. And you guys are going to learn what it looks like to not only be a trader, push some size, follow your plan and what the potential of this industry is that you can eventually get out of it if you stick with it. If you join MIC, if you follow the process and if you have a big vision, you think big and you see it through. Alex is the best case scenario, so we highlight him every single week. We want to motivate you guys. We want you guys to get a fire under your ass. We want you to kick yourself in the butt when you're doing bad and congratulate yourself when you're doing good. And guys, this is MIC Pro. Process. So Alex released the first episode, 145K, one trade, one day, 30 minutes, unbelievable. And then what we're going to do going forward is so many more examples of this to come, but the first one is free, open to the public. The ones going forward are only, only, only for lifetime members. It is exclusive feature to lifetime membership. If you guys want lifetime, all you got to do is DM me, but this is an absolute game changer. This is the ESPN highlight reel MIC style uh, at the end of the week. And guys, I will see you next week. This is so much fun.